Hello, 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 and welcome back uh, to another Rise of Empires Ice and Fire video with me, Mr. Gill. Um, this is Heroes, uh, basically, Hero Skills. Uh, so I'm recording back to back. I just did a little bit of a basic introduction, and now we're going to do a little bit more of a detailed um, discussion about Hero Skills. Um, thanks so much for all your previous likes and views and comments. I love it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, and feel free to subscribe if you would like to. Right. So. We have the four types of heroes, orange, purple, blue, green. Um, we are hoping that we are lucky enough, and remember it is based on luck, that when we use our recruitment tickets, we are getting all oranges. Um, I've been playing for nearly three months. I have six orange. That's quite annoying. Uh, it is random. Um, or it's a completely opaque uh, algorithm that I cannot work out how to make it work better. The only way to make it work better is to spend real money or to constantly play and grind so <coughs> we have our heroes what should we be doing with them well heroes have a number of skills up to nine i believe it is let's double check or is it eight one two three four five six seven eight some have more so this guy has eight and this guy here has one two three four five six seven eight. why does he have eight i thought somebody had nine Am I being an idiot? I might be being an idiot. Okay, they have eight skills. Let's say it's eight. Um, orange heroes have eight skills. Okay, and these skills are divided into either general or specific skills. So some of the heroes are specific to a type of troop. Ivan the Hurricane is a general orange hero. So he is not specific. He does not add any buffs or any boosts to a specific type of troops rather to all troops within the legion some only add to specific type of troops so you have your skills separated into either general or specific areas okay general is one three uh four six and seven those are the general skills. So let's look at them. And what I would suggest you do now is probably pop open your phone, open your copy of the game, and have a look at this with me. So the first type of skill. At the start, it tells us the type, the target, um, what it does, and then it can tell you how much it costs to upgrade. This first one in every single hero is what increases the capacity for the squad. So it adds more troops to your legion, more space to fit more troops yeah so this guy is now level nine he's got one more level to go and at the moment he fits 19,600 extra bonus troops uh, and at the max level he will fit 21,600 every single every single hero has this and this is the first thing you should be focusing on the more troops in your legion the stronger your legion is going to be okay so the first skill you should always be upgrading is this dictator skill here um, we're looking at the general yeah so then the third skill you can see and again this is a general or a passive skill that it doesn't affect anything specific um, and it is only used when in the training ground so this is basically when your squad is at home this is what this skill is then activated okay when your squad is out attacking somebody this skill is not activated okay so this skill here is effective it's 12 point plus 12.5 resistance when stationed in the training ground so at home defending your base um, the same with number four which is a effective in the training grounds uh, and number six uh, we're going to get back to six actually in a second um, and number seven effective when based in the training grounds now six is a little bit of a weird one because six is the attack awaken skill um, and so this has a couple of little really cool quirks um, it it has a plus 12% might and a 6% resistance when stationed in the training ground, so when defending, but it always has a, uh, not always 150, but it always has a bonus to leadership skills. Currently, I'm on level 6, so it's a 150% bonus to leadership skills. What are leadership skills? This first one is a leadership skill. So we are adding 150% bonus from the skill number six to the skill number one, which means this is increased. We are adding more and more troops. So upgrade number one first, 
upgrade number six second if you can unfortunately upgrading this one is quite hard because you do need the specific orange medal for this hero so and he has to be level 35 which can take a little bit of time so between that you can upgrade some of the others but you really want to get this one maxed and then get to this one number six as soon as you possibly can that'll increase the amount of troops you can have in your legion which is always going to help you okay so those four five sorry one three four six and seven are our general passive skills okay they kind of affect only what's happening in the training grounds now two uh, five and eight are active or specific skills so in ivan the hurricane two is when hero is leading any units a 40 percent chance to deal 203 percent damage to multiple enemy targets um, up here it has an effective range of four remember that we're going to look at that and talk about that in a second uh so two is this one what is it oh sorry extra damage or a chance to deal extra damage uh five is another chance to deal damage to multiple enemy targets and eight is when hero is leading any units, one turns per 50% chance to deal 215% damage. Blah, 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 blah. So these ones here, two, five, and eight, are specific to attacking. <coughs> the other ones, I mentioned before, passive in general, are about when you're in the training ground, defending. Two, five, and eight are about attacking when you're out there, and they give you buffs uh, or chances to do higher percentages of damage. Now, Ivan the Hurricane, as I said at the start, is a general hero he does not have any specific um, skills targeted at any type of troop however you do have others that do let's pop back and look at el zorro so el zorro is specific to archers and we can see that by going into his two five and eight skills they are the active or specific skills and you can see when hero is leading archers this skill is activated. Number five, when hero is leading archers, this skill is activated. Number eight, when, oh no, eight, sorry, there. When hero is leading archers, this skill is, is activated. That's really important to note because it will only, these skills will only work when archers are in El Zorro's, um, in his line, you know, across the thing. Uh, so, for me, El Zorro is kind of useless because I only really use cavalry. So what I'd really rather is have one of the other heroes down here. I don't know, one of these guys, war guys, combat, who does, uh, I think it's a uh, rough rider is the horse guy. Cavalry guy. Let's have a quick look. No leading any units. Okay, well, there's one of them that is. Okay, but so you have these two types of heroes, yeah? And we're really talking about orange heroes here because that's all we want. You have the general heroes like Hurricane, who their skills affect any type of troop, footmen, archers, or cavalry within your legion. Or you have the specific, like El Zorro, who affects only archers uh, in this situation. There's other ones that affect only footmen and other ones that affect only cavalry. All right, so you want to make sure that this guy here, I've only put him in until I get another one because he's he's basically three of his skills I can't develop. Um, I might develop them if I get some extra uh, thingies, uh, whatever they're called. What are they called? Wisdom medals. Um, and I have some spare and I don't need to upgrade anybody else. I maybe I'll develop him just in case to keep him as a backup for something in the future. But at the moment, I'm just leaving and all I'm pushing him on is this first one so he increases the number of troops that can sit in the legion yeah now there's one other aspect of this so as i said just as a general guide and i want to repeat myself always focus on getting number one skill maxed as soon as possible and then number six skill maxed as soon as possible of course do the others while you're waiting to get that extra hero medal that you can then use for this but these two are the ones that are going to increase the amount of troops in your legion by having more troops you're just going to be generally stronger um it's just a matter of fact way of the world 
Okay, now one other thing is the range or effective range. Okay, so you can see here he has this skill effective range is four. Okay, so he targets two random enemy squads within effective range. This gets a little bit tricky. Uh, where's another one that says effective range? Right uh, here, effective range five. And this one is effective range five. Now, so let's go and have a look at where he's placed in my legion. So Hurricane is number one in my legion. He is usually always the one that attacks. This legion is usually the one that attacks first as well. So with an effective range of five, it means he's going to be able to attack up to five troops away. Yeah? You kind of get that? So basically, if we look at a uh, thingy-majiggy. Uh, battle report, maybe? Maybe I should have somebody. Um, where did I attack somebody? My troops attacked here. Come on, open up. Okay. So you can see, at the time, uh, this one, I attacked this one. So he has an effective range. Say he had an effective range of five. He can attack up to one, two, three, four, five. Yeah? Um, randomly within this. Yeah, so the range is quite important. Um, I'm not 100% accurate or, or sure exactly how far it can go and whether or not it can jump um, to a secondary legion or not uh, or, or whether it's just a complete linear line from one to five etc etc however what it does mean is that if you have someone who has an effective range which is higher than one or two they don't have to necessarily be the first person in your legion so for the, me at the moment this is probably not the best setup because he has an effective range of five he has an effective range as far as i can remember let's pop back into him of two yes two and this one is three and this one is five okay so in order for this skill to be more have more chance of working of being effective he needs to be higher up in the order so ideally yamaraja jababaja yamaraja yamaraja jinsao bao yamaraja jinsao bao should be in the first position of this legion in order to use his range effectively because he has a range going from two to five whereas this guy here hurricane has a range going from four to five so he can reach further so to speak however yamaraja jinsao bao has only got 61,100 troops and he's got 66 so I think the 5,000 troop difference means that this guy should sit here for a little bit longer that's not to say I won't move him up as soon as this guy's a little bit more I'll probably pop him into first place and have this guy in second place I'll also then have to look at uh, dual blades and see how she levels up and where she should be within this uh, mix as well uh, but for now this is fine and it kind of works out okay so to recap there are two types of heroes um, within the orange hero group there are ones that are general heroes who can do lots of different things for lots of for any type of troop and then there are specific heroes that will only well not only but they oh hiccups they will they are best effective when leading one particular type of troop within those heroes they have skills and those skills are also either passive or specific um, the ones that are specific are used basically for attacking the ones that are passive are used when you are in the training grounds the most important skills to update grade as soon as possible is the first one and the sixth one they will increase the sixth one this <laughs> first one sixth one they will increase the amount of troops that you can put into your legion um yeah Cool. I hope that kind of sounded relatively easy to understand. As I said, I'm not really an expert in this. There are far better people than me, I'm sure. Um, but if you kind of follow those tips, just make sure, as I said in the last video, you are using your recruitment tickets in a smart way to maximize your points from Clash of Provinces, to also maximize your po your chances of getting uh, orange heroes and then when you're using those orange heroes you are upgrading their skills
based on what you want and what you want is more members in your legion so upgrade the first skill first and the sixth skill as soon as you possibly can okay that's about all I'm going to talk about with heroes. Uh, I've had a couple of people asking for this video, but I was hesitant to do it because I'm not an expert, as I said. If you have any tips or tricks you want to share, uh, please do share them down in the comments below. Um, if you want to contact me through the game, as quite a few people do, please feel free to do that. If you want to try and kill me through the game, please feel free to do that, but be wary that I'm quite aware that some people try to do that, so I will be shielded. Um, if I face you in Reign of Chaos, or any kill event anytime soon then good luck to us both other than that i'll catch you again later cheers bye